just circumference town. Go to town, not even get for buy, I'm go for buy. See there? Just get rubbed. And just cut the bag and take out the money when I have in the bag. See there? Just like that. In a town. When my order, I have a pay, no money in the bag. See there? And just slit it. <laughs> ah, boy. What's up guys? What's up? Welcome once again to another video. Thanks as always for tuning in. And you know, let me just let you know how much I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to join me on another video. And also let me remind you to like the video, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already done so, hit that notification bell and also comment, comment and let us know what you think about the video. Alright? Um so guys, that that short clip that I played um just now this as you can, probably can figure out this happened in jamaica you know and in this holiday season guys not just jamaica but anywhere you are you know, um, we all know the, the the criminals come out in their numbers in especially in 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 holiday seasons like these right so you know you have to be we have to be extra 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 careful guys can't stress it enough have to be extra careful you know um don't just be walking in public with your handbag thrown over your shoulder you know like i have seen so many times you know anybody could and sometimes even I, i've seen even ladies walking with their handbags thrown over their shoulders and the bag is open you know things um, revealing in their handbags so you know any criminal can just walk behind them and and have a field day just take out whatever they want Right now, in this incident, she got her her handbag cut, and she said the person seemed to have used a sharp razor. Right, um, it, and 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 for you Jamaicans, you know, back at home, um, I know in these times, you know, you have your family members, close friends, or whoever sending you money, you know, and when you go to that money center to 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 collect your money, don't just stand up in public and you know count your money or or just throw it down in the in your in your handbag for everybody to see you know um first time old time people used to tie up their 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 money in in in, in you know cloth handkerchief or whatever and put it down in their bosom if it means that you're going to do it that way then do it you know what i mean because why well, the, the these these criminals boy they're 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 they'll go to anything by all means they have to get what they want Alright, so be careful guys and have a great, great holiday, you know, Merry Christmas to one and all and um, a wonderful, wonderful, prosperous New Year, New Year to everybody, alright? Alright, so um, let us move on now. Um, so guys, this, this other incident that, I, that I'm coming to you with, um, I don't know if, how many of you guys have heard about it. Um, this incident happened in in mississippi in a walmart in the mississippi location where this young lady held a, a walmart employee hostage right um i think they were in the, they were in the customer service and she got got into an altercation with an employee in customer service and you know she pulled out a gun and held the the the, the walmart worker hostage right and um you know it's such a sad incident guys because this could have gone you know other ways good or bad this could have gone but other ways and you know i'm wishing i am i i, I wish that it had gone another way where it, where it ended good right but unfortunately you know she lost her life by the police so um let me get into this um and let you know you guys know what what exactly took place well we don't know what what the altercation was about that i can tell you from right now you know so investigations are on, ongoing at this at, the, at this time so um there has been you know all kinds of drama 
you know, taking place at Walmarts in different areas. And as a result, the CEO of the company is threatening to shut down stores if these actions continue. And right now, we don't know which location, do, um, which locations, you know, that would have been, I guess, maybe the ones that the most drama happened. So a woman in Mississippi did not take heed to the, to the warnings. Instead, she threatened the life of a store employee. In the process, the woman lost her own life as the cops came and fatally shot her. The situation began in the rich man in the town of Richland, Mississippi. A woman arrived at the location of, of US 49 yesterday evening. It is unclear what made the woman decide to hold an employee from the store hostage. What is clear is that the decision was the biggest mistake of her life. If it was not the biggest mistake, it was her most fatal mistake. And guys, let us, um, before I even go any further, let us take a look at this video here. And then we'll speak on the other side. No, Why don't you let her go then, please? Hey, no. We're not doing that, freaky cop. Me? We're doing that. Give me a news like the damn thing right now. All y'all need to give me a motherfucking news like right fucking now. Please let her go. Hey, give me a news like the damn here now. I need help. I give me a news like the damn here now. Then put your hands up. Okay, so guys, um, the audio is kind of unclear at some points, but we can we can clearly hear asking for a news team, a news a, a news um anchor, right now, right? And you know, I I must say, from from recollection, after the after the George Floyd incident, um, you know, we have heard calls for. For, for police to, to, to be working with um, social workers, you know, especially in certain type of incidents like these, right? And I don't know why it, 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 has not, it has not even gone into any kind of trial to see if it will work moreover to be done. And, you know, I personally think um you know it is something to 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 look into and to try out you know if it's even a few incidents try it out and see how it works you know you just might save a life right and um you know it's it's you know it's such a sad case sometimes when you see some simple simple incidents like these end up in someone losing their lives and i'm sure this young lady when she went to that walmart um, she didn't intend to pull a gun more over to lose her life right there in the store right so um <clears throat> the 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 word of the day guys for me is de-escalation as everyone has been calling for for a while now and and i i don't think these most of these police officers are are trained for that um for that kind of you know kind of thing you know, to de they don't know how to de-escalate situations. Because um, I don't know, you know, I'm sorry, we didn't, you know, they will have some more, you know, clipping to show you guys. But it didn't show to the end where before, you know, just before she got shot. You know, so I'm um, sorry, I didn't see that. So, you know, we could see if um, the 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 hostage life was further threatened and as to the reason why they ended up shooting her but um before i even go any further guys um 
for for any any Walmart employees that is hearing this video right um or watching this video right now um customer service this incident happened right there in the customer service and i'm i'm thinking you know it's um, this is just my opinion guys i'm thinking you know maybe she brought back something or you know some something like that and the workers refused you know to 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 work with her to maybe whatever to change something exchange something take back something or whatever it is i don't know but that is just my guess guys so as i say for for those of, and if if there's any walmart worker that is hearing this right now let me let me give you a word of advice every walmart item that is in that store is insured every worker in that store is insured you see that um that lady that is held hostage walmart as a as as a as an insurance on there and them right so every goods and every employee working with walmart is insured so you know where um, it is your it is in your own interest if someone takes something back whether it is damage or you know whatever be the case just just take it back you have nothing to lose it's not your goods you, you don't own walmart as a matter of fact the the the, the owner of a walmart is one of the richest person in the world right now Right, so it's, it is in your own interest not to get into any altercation with anyone over Walmart property. Right, so that is just my piece of advice to you guys. Um, so this young lady, her name is um, Carlunda McGinnister, and she's only 21 years old. And she's from West Elena, Arkansas. Right. And, you know, as I said, guys, it's so sad to see such a young person lose, losing their lives, you know, for what I don't know. And I know it's something simple that could have been corrected, right? So, um, witnesses say 21-year-old McGinnister get, um, got into a confrontation with an employee in the customer service department and began holding her hostage. No other, no other injuries were involved. So the store will remain closed until further notice. Right? So um I don't know. We we'll we'll be we'll just have to wait and see if they give any update on on the situation as to what took place in that customer service. So currently agents with the Mississippi Bureau of Investigations are investigating the Richland Walmart at five forty five PM. I'm sorry investigating the incident at the walmart at 45 at 5 45 pm a woman arrived at the walmart location where she took a woman working in the store as hostage and you know we know the rest um yeah so so guys you know um even though she she held someone hostage you know we just have to um wish her, her family friends and loved ones you know um condolences and you know we we send out our prayers to them because in you know it's not easy to lose a loved one especially in this time in in, in the christmas season where every family you know try to get together and celebrate the christmas holidays and ring in the new year together you know so to lose a loved one like that is it's really a sad situation and you know we all just wish it didn't have to go down that way so let's hope guys the authorities you know the 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 the, the whoever they be police um commanders or whoever they are you know just look into these cases and 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 um you know try to make these officers work with a social worker in, in cases like this because guys um as i've said on so many occasions mental issue is real right it is real and it is alive especially now in these days i don't know what is going on what is in the hair or what but trust me it is it seems to be alive and kicking right now you know because there are so many incidents we have seen in the past that you know we, we 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 can draw this conclusion right so anyway guys that's it from me for now and um as i said i hope you guys have a wonderful christmas in case we don't we don't hear from each other before the christmas holiday um or before the new year I wish for all of you, uh, you know, prosperous new year. 
and you know just blessings from above peace walk out here where we can see you drop the gun put both of your hands up Yeah.